This is breach sensor and detent maintenance for a Geo R5. In order to access the breach sensors and the ball detents, first need to remove the foregrip. Grab the body and the foregrip, pull them apart. We now have a clip here uh, which retains the um, breach sensor retainer and the detents. Slide that forwards and lift up the cover. The other side of here, you can see the light pipe for the breach sensor. Just want to make sure that this is clean, there's no paint, particularly behind the um, light pipe itself. Make sure the faces are clean, make sure there's no dirt or paint or grease that has got behind that light pipe. Just place that to one side. Obviously you want to make sure that the sensor at the bottom here is clean and clear and also the hole where the beam for the breach sensor goes through the body. Up here we have the detent and you can see here in the foregrip you have location for spare detents. So you can put up to six detents, three on either side of the foregrip, if you want to keep spares on the marker itself. And in order to remove and inspect, just use a pick or screwdriver to lift the detent out. Just want to make sure the detent is nice and springy. It shouldn't deform in any way. Make sure it isn't worn or snapped from the base. It's obviously a good detent. This can go back inside. Just check for any uh, fluff or paint or dirt build up inside the pocket. And then we'll just put the detent back in. Make sure it's clipped all the way down into the pocket. I'm going to take the, um, the cover light pipe assembly, hook it in at the top in the body, push down at the bottom, slide on the cover. And then it's exactly the same process for the opposite side of the body, same um, light pipes and detents and spaces for spare detents there. Once you've done that, put the cover 